Hello and welcome to Star Wars Obsessed. I'm Richard and let's go back, 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 way back to 1978 when Kenner finally released the original Star Wars action figures, the first 12. The first 12 figures we got are Han Solo, Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker, Chewbacca, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Darth Vader, R2-D2, C-3PO, and those are the main characters, and the minor characters we got, a Jawa, Sand People, the Death Squad Commander, and a Stormtrooper. So those rounded out the first 12 figures for the original Kenner line, and at the time, I was just a happy little kid, enjoying collecting the Star Wars action figures, just loving Star Wars, everything about it. Later, Kenner came out with the next set of figures, which were Greedo, Walrus Man, Hammerhead, Snaggletooth, R5-D4, the Power Droid, Death Star Droid, and Luke Skywalker, X-Wing Pilot. And that was very exciting to get another set of Star Wars figures. What was gonna come up next with Star Wars? Well, we didn't get anything from Star Wars because we were just getting another line of figures, but from The Empire Strikes Back. At the time, did I think anything was missing? I don't think so. I don't remember that I did. I think I was just enjoying them as much as I could. And then we got another set with Return of the Jedi, and then The Power of the Force. And in The Power of the Force, Kenner decided to delve into Star Wars territory with the Luke Skywalker and the Stormtrooper disguise and the Imperial Gunner. And that's it. So Kenner was done. There wasn't any more Star Wars movies coming out and the sales for the Star Wars figures were not so good anymore, so they halted production. But I don't think I was in the mindset that we were still missing figures. So years go by without any Star Wars action figures to collect, and then Hasbro comes out with the Power of the Force 2 line. We finally get figures from characters that were never made and they can run. One specifically that I didn't realize we needed until this was the Rebel Fleet Trooper. And now we can do the army building. We can fight the Rebel Fleet Troopers against the Storm Troopers. It was pretty exciting. But there was only one issue with that. We have the Storm Trooper in the Vintage line, but we don't have a Rebel Fleet Trooper for the Vintage line. If you just wanted the Kenner Vintage line, well, you still didn't have a Rebel Fleet Trooper. So years go by and we're getting different lines more advanced versions of the Rebel Fleet Trooper, but still nothing that would fit with the vintage Kenner line. Then Hasbro decides to come out with the Retro Collection. Pretty cool, especially if you didn't have any of the vintage figures. And what was really neat was Hasbro decided to release a special figure that was only available in a reproduction of a game, most notably Grand Moff Tarkin. So we finally got a vintage style Grand Moff Tarkin that we can include with our vintage collection. And then that was it. Hasbro decides to go with The Empire Strikes Back next. And in the board game, we get a vintage style Luke Skywalker in his Snowspeeder outfit. And then Return of the Jedi, we didn't get a special figure. Hasbro comes out with the next line of Star Wars retro collection and we didn't get a special figure for that one. We are missing the Rebel Fleet Trooper. Until now, thanks to We finally have a vintage style Rebel Fleet Trooper, and it looks amazing. Let's take a closer look. The attention to detail on the card back. This looks like something that Kenner would totally do. And it's just stunning the way this looks. It's flawless. And it's not flimsy like the, the crappy retro collection card back. Doesn't bend. It's exactly like Kenner. You can see the waffle pattern on the, on the bubble. 
right there. Just like Kenner would do it, the bubble tight around the figure. None of this extra wide bubble or even the cradle inside. This is the way Kenner did it back in the 70s with the footer and the blaster in hand, sometimes taped on the bubble. Magnificent. And then the back, just the way Kenner would have done it back in the day, listing all the figures that were available at the time. Just brilliant. And then the available play sets, collector's case, figure, just brilliant. Down here it says Stan Solo. Totally brings me back, back to the day, the early days of collecting Star Wars. Wow. I am, how did Kenner not make this? I just want to look at it and just admire it. It's just awesome. Now let's look at the figure itself. Oh, here is the loose figure. Wow. The simplicity of its style, just like the Kenner, the early Kenner days, the quality and craftsmanship at which Stan Solo creates these is just like vintage Kenner. It's just wonderful. And it, you know, it feels like a Kenner figure. It doesn't feel cheap in any way. Obviously it's not 3D printed, it's factory produced. I think this is something that maybe a little above and beyond what Kenner would have done, having this belt buckle that's silvery. I, I have a feeling that Kenner would have actually made it just white, but Chris Smith, being the master that he is, and his attention to detail, just leveled up right here. It's brilliant. It's beautiful. I'm having difficulty with superlatives right now because how many can you use? How many times can you say it's beautiful, it's brilliant, it's gorgeous? My goodness, this helmet. It's amazing. I mean, even this little detail right here, if you can see, it's just stunning. The face, perfect, very tight, tight limbs. And of course the SS for Stan Solo. Everything is just perfect. Wow, let's look at the weapon. Exactly something that Kenner would have made. Just brilliant. Putting it in the hand, just clicks right in. Perfect. Kenner had made mistakes many times, especially with figures holding the blaster. There were those few that they just couldn't do it. They just didn't get it right, but Chris Smith with Stan Solo Creations, just perfect. Look at that. Doesn't, it's held on very tightly. Just can't knock it out. Wow, a much needed figure in my Star Wars vintage collection. A much needed figure in any, anyone's vintage Star Wars collection. I highly recommend getting these. In fact, I highly recommend getting more than one. Do your army building. These all look fantastic. Flawless, beautiful. Chris Smith, you've once again outdone yourself. These are just gorgeous. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. You can check out my other videos here and here. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. See you on the next Star Wars Obsessed.